What's up, everybody? It's Dynasty Demir, Search for Huru. Uh, before I get started, I just want to give a disclaimer. All right, the reason why I'm posting these videos, especially my African coon and ass disclaimers, is because I just need to set the record straight um, on certain topics, uh, certain issues. Uh, I would say on um, something that needs to be cleared up that's misinformation. Okay. Um, again, I don't want to be decisive. I don't want to be, uh, you know, again, the purpose of this platform is to connect the diaspora with Africa. But in doing that, you know, you have some, uh, I will say people who are, um, starting shit that need to be addressed. And sometimes when, especially some black Americans, when, who just don't know the full history of Africa um, when they are called out or called names and it's vice versa. I mean, it goes both ways um, are called out or disrespected with certain names or terms that we're about to go over uh, today. They need to know how to respond because I'm just hoping um, conversations like this don't have to happen, but on my Facebook page, you know, you have some people who troll and therefore I need to address um, certain statements. So the statement is the black Americans are slaves and have no land. All right. Again, a lot of some Africans were on my page, you know, and trolling in regards to it was crazy. Some of these Africans live here in America. It's, so they left their land to come to America. But that's another topic. Um, so, you know, they're on my page trolling as, you know, of course, for being disrespectful and they want to, of course, throw the, the jab, the black Americans are slaves and have no land as if there was no slavery on the continent during colonialism. So let's break that down. Okay. Yes. In fact, let me, let me back up. So we have to change the definition, I guess, of slavery uh when it comes to the african slave trade transatlantic and also uh, the arab slave trade so from an african perspective slavery is when africans were captured uh, some stolen and sold were put on boats and crossed over the atlantic to america or the new world but what they really talk about is the slavery um, that took place on the actual continent all right, let's deal with Congo, Belgium, Congo. Let's deal with Rhodesia. All right, Leopold Cecil Rhodes, it was well documented, enslaved Africans in those areas in Southern Africa. Also from Kenya, pretty much all the continent throughout uh, colonialism, all right, Africans were enslaved on the continent. All right, so... For example, here in America, a lot of us pick cotton. Uh, if we didn't meet our quota of picking cotton for that day, um, we were whooped or whipped, right? All right? We lived in shitty conditions. We weren't paid. Uh, we weren't considered human. All right, there was racism. I mean, the list continues, all right? Same thing in the Congo or in parts of Africa. Oh, shit. It's thunder like hell out here. Same thing with the uh, with Africa. All right. When Europeans came and colonized, colonialized uh, Africa. All right. They took Africans. Enslaved them. Made them work in, we'll just say, diamond mines or whatnot. All right, to to dig for diamonds, dig for natural resources. And if they didn't hit their quota, they were amputated. We have to understand during the uh, transatlantic slave trade, they are saying around 12 million slaves died from the uh, shores of Africa coming over to America. In the Belgian Congo itself, about 12 to 15 million slaves passed away as well. All right. I think the only thing that's really somewhat different are right, when it comes to 
I would say the slavery, all right, is again, we lost our identity as far as names. We, and we don't know what, um, you know, what tribes we come from, et cetera. But you have to understand the African on the continent lost his sense of identity as well. You know, as far as here comes the religion. I mean, we were impacted by religion as well. Um, you know, the European standard of beauty of of pretty much everything was was implemented. Same thing with us over here. Self-hate. I mean, so again, we were all enslaved as a people. OK, this is just not a uh, black American thing or Caribbean black um, black people in the Caribbean or Afro Latino thing. All right. Everybody. OK, on the continent in Africa, we're enslaved. And now this is going to be a short video because I just really wanted to cover that. You know, again, look up Cecil Rhodes, look up uh, Leopold, look at the uh, atrocities. OK. That Africans were going to going through, especially in Southern Africa. All right. And so the idea that during colonialism that there weren't any African slaves on the continent is ridiculous and stupid. I mean. You got to understand, like, you know, somebody in the chat, uh, Native African was like, oh, well, we were just servants. No. OK. Not meeting your diamond quota for today or your mineral resource, whatever resource you're looking for for today, and then getting your arm cut off. All right. Or in getting amputated because you didn't meet it. That's not servitude. That's slavery. And hell, that's worse than slavery. You weren't considered equal. OK. You weren't even considered you were less than human. That's slavery. All right. Oh, you guys can hear the storm in the background. Yeah. So that's and then and then again, just the European standard and then the mindset, the self hate. That's all part of slavery. So we have to stop. OK, more people died when the Belgians left. Example, 1996 to 2001, six million Congolese died, yet they hardly make front page news. Which you're going to which I'm going to go ahead and go into the next point, this whole thing about we have no land look foreign interests still control africa let's just keep it real i'm around i know you're in the chat room i know you dis disagree with me foreign interest foreign interests okay still control africa period those people in, in the congo do not benefit from any of those natural resources all right in places like south africa all right White people still control everything. Whites and Indians, all right? So, and this is throughout, this is all throughout Africa. Africans are not benefiting from the natural resources. So yeah, you might have, as far as nation identity, uh, tribal identity, you might have it, but the resources of that land, Africans are not benefiting from, period. And that's just I mean, I just I just wanted to address that because, again, I get, you know, and again, I just I have to address it because these are quoted as disclaimers. The black Americans are slaves and have no land. I mean, there are a lot of Africans on the continent who are descendants of slaves. Yeah, they might not have been shipped to America, but they were. God damn. They were experiencing. OK, slave. I mean, they were they were enslaved. In Africa, on the continent. Now it's storming out here too, Reno. It's storming. I know the Congo alone is the richest place on the planet, and Congolese are not benefiting from any of that, uh, any of those natural resources. That's why you had a Congolese immigrant again. Keyword immigrant again. Keyword immigrant. Climb her ass up the uh, well. She didn't even climb it all the way. She just climbed some of it to the part to the you know. She didn't climb it. She just kind of went to the base. She went to the base of the Statue of Liberty. Congolese immigrant, which I'm gonna do another video on, and that's um, Africans and, and Black Americans as well fighting for the wrong damn issues. Okay, illegal immigration is not a Black issue. All right, it's not. Fighting for illegal immigration does not benefit black people. The sentence of the slave trade, it doesn't. So I just want to 
Uh, I'm going to cover that in another video. But again, let's recap. There were slaves in Africa during colonialism. OK, there were slaves. On the continent. OK. In, in Africa, enslaved. Don't believe me. Look up what was going on in Rhodesia and the Belgium Congo. All right. And those aren't the only places. Pretty much all over Africa, Africans were enslaved on the continent. So the Africans who, who were caught, shipped, and sold to America are not the only slaves. All right. A lot of Africans on the continent all right, come from our descendants of slaves. All right. Let's just keep it real. Have no land. Africans are not benefiting from the natural resources of Africa. That's why they're immigrating to Europe and coming to America, period. And another thing I want to speak on is this whole another disc that was um, being floated around, being floated around is this um, uh, black Americans and food stamps and welfare. All right. That you know, oh, black Americans are all on welfare and food stamps. You know, a lot of Africans sometimes take these white supremacy uh, talking points. The same way you got a lot of black Americans who take um, um, white supremacy talking points when describing Africa. So, this food stamp shit. All right, here we go. Just about every African country. God damn. Boy, I might have to go hide for cover. Shit. All right. Just about every African country gets aid from America. Okay. Just about everyone gets aid from America. Every African country. All right. The difference between the black Americans, all right, who are on public assistance is we get ours direct from the government. So there's no middleman. Food stamps, whatever you want to call it, comes direct from the government. Uh, Africans, we can't help that when uh, uh, America sends its aid to Africa, all right, which is the same as welfare, which is the same as food stamps for the most part, don't believe me, uh, go go on USA.org. Is all the numbers are there? Emmanuel, I'll look it up. We can't help that when your leaders get that money, they misuse it. Because you guys are definitely getting welfare food stamps from America. It's just again, your leaders misuse misuse it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, and a lot of times you get these angry Africans who come on my page and troll. All right. And they're so angry that it's like they want to pretend and act like it was black Americans that colonized all of Africa. But when whites and Indians and Chinese come around, they're kissing ass. Again, and that, you know, they want to come and snap on black Americans and say all this stuff. But again, when whites, Chinese, Indians and, and Lebanese and everybody else comes around. They want to kiss ass all day. So yeah, we got to address that. So yeah. So again, you guys get food stamps and welfare from America too, via my tax dollars. Oh, let's look. Let's go right here. Hold on. USA. Kenya. Here we go. Here we go right here. Hold on. Let me let me share the screen, man. We got to we got to set the record straight on this. You know, hold on. We got to We got to set, set the record straight. All right, here we go. Let's 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 break it down. USA from the American people. So they're so we're we're up front. This is coming from America. Here we go. Food assistance is helping Kenyans cope with drought. Hold on. Let me let me let me just click on this. Hold on. Here we go.
Hold on, here we go. The link is provided. Hold on. Let's see what's going on here. So this is somebody that works through USA. All right, so Yali. Okay, Yali is the Young African Leader Institute that's funded by the United States government and by, by USA, okay? Let's, um, I'm trying to see what actual programs are going on. Hold on. Uh, here we go. USA is working with Kenyan government to conserve, conserve its water towers. So that's a check. Youth entrepreneurs and agriculture are helping fellow peers gain important business skills through mentorship. So that's another check. Food assistance, food stamps. But again, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just, you know, setting the record straight. Food is. Oh, let me go back. Let me go back. Food assistance is helping Kenyans cope with the drought in the northern part of Kenya. You know, so again, assistance, help. Our water sanit sanitation and hygiene assistance helps prevent disease and deliver basic services to Kenya. So again, I'm just going to stop right there. So we need to stop all my African friends who get mad at black Americans and you know, you want to come after black Americans, you know, black man is slaves. Uh, black man has no land. Black people are on food stamps. You guys are on food stamps, too. And my tax dollars are paying for it. All right. America gives you guys aid. Again, I just I can't help what countries do. Your leaders do once they get that aid from America. I can't help it. If you guys don't see it, you know, I don't know what to tell you. So, yeah, so let's set the record straight on that. So, so, yeah. But anyway, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that. I just wanted to uh, uh, just go over that real quick. Thank you for joining. Make sure you go to search for who we on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook. Also, go to dynastymirror.com. Uh, Africa personified out Africa. Go to Amazon.com, search your name, Dinah Samir. Please buy a book. And make sure you go to search for Uhuru on all social media platforms. Also, Africa personified out Africa. Until next time, Dinah Samir, peace.